Well, guys, I am here at UNI Arts Cafe, an amazing, amazing cafe, unlike anything you've ever seen before. Here, I'm gonna show you guys lots of authentic, traditional, and awesome cuisines. Let's check it out. Red FM presents Food Swings. Super Hits 93.5 Red FM, it's rocking with me here, Bio, and welcome back to another episode of Food Swings. And I am here in the awesome and beautiful kitchen of you and I Arts Cafe, a very, very unique and very traditional and awesome cafe. And beside me here is Ba Wan Pai Nongrum, the owner of the cafe. So, Ba Wan Pai, can you just tell us a little bit about this unique cafe of yours? I started this cafe in 2016, 18 January. We celebrate the fifth year anniversary this year the idea behind the cafe is just to revive dying food you know like the traditional khasi food and also we introduce varieties of teas which we have more than 140 varieties of teas and also I will introduce to you a traditional khasi tea which they use in the past so these are few of the traditional tea which we available from flowers fruits roots grass and so these are uh, varieties and we have names for it so this this is the first one uh, this is called jajau jajau is uh, in english is called rosella so rosella tea we introduce in the cafe and anybody who enters the cafe we give it as a complimentary drinks uh, first for visitors to welcome them to the cafe some people call it the magic tea because the, from one cup you get four different kind of teas and then we have another varieties which is very similar but this is a fruit it's called elephant's apple in in khasi it calls swadanai mostly people use this for medicinal pu uh, purposes but here we introduce it as tea we have this pandian leaf it's uh, called slashira it's available plenty in the war area like uh, Nowet. It has a smell, that taste of uh, that uh, sticky rice. And then we have this plung jow, which is a lemongrass. And if you have cough, fever, and then, you know, if you drink this tea, it will relieve your uh, nose block and all those things. And this one special tea, which I would like to introduce to you, is called Shakrat. This is the traditional khasi tea. This tea is uh, we use the root, the bark, the thorns, the creeper, and we add a piece of bay leaf. So shakrat, which is called smilak ferox in uh, scientific name, they don't have the English name still. And this shakrat they use in the past. So actually only the elders used to drink this tea and mostly this, this chakra is used for this uh, khasi medicine called Nyang Sopet yes. yeah, for children. So when we make jajau, so first uh, what you have to do is you in a vessel you pour water and you let it boil and after that you use uh, 20 to 25 uh, petals. You simmer it for some time till it get boils pink color pinkish color will come from it then how we serve this tea there are uh, four ways of serving this tea so the first one you just we put a one foot of the rosella tea and you have to drink it without mixing anything then the second part is you add a drop of honey then you pour one foot again uh, of that rosella tea mix it together and you drink it and you have this uh, sweet taste of this because it's very sour third one is you add a pinch of salt pour one foot of the tea again and you make it when you taste that tea you will have that tang uh, flavor and the last one you add both honey and salt together and one foot of the tea again and you mix you mix it and you get a different combination of of mixture of honey uh, sal and the sour, sourness of this uh, this flower, yeah. So besides all the tea that you've spoken about, are there any other special dishes that you serve here at UNI Arts Cafe? We, when we start uh, UNI Arts Cafe, we don't serve food. We serve only tea. 
then i realized you know because of modern technology youths nowadays they they don't spend much time in talking instead they are busy with their uh, mobile and they forget to engage with the another person sitting next to them so it comes to my mind you know why not introduce a food that can get away with this using mobile while eating so that you can have a conversation that really matters in the life so what i have done is i have introduced this uh, red potato is called pansao and it's supposed to be a food where you eat as a family and sit together while having that food you share stories and you you get your hands messy and you forget your mobiles so the idea is to you know help people to come back to a conversation that really matters so that they can learn from the elders then we serve mostly all the khasi traditional food like putharo and then we introduce uh, rice also is called we call it gumbo and we introduce varieties of we don't have fixed menu uh, so we treat this cafe as a home we get up in the morning like when you are in a normal home you get up morning you think what should you cook today so the same we apply in the cafe we don't have a fixed menu for the day Well, what is up, folks? I am about to rate you and I cafe. Well, based on the presentation, well, there wasn't really much about it, so I would have to give that a three stars. And well, food quality, or rather, tea quality, well, it was so delicious and refreshing, so I would have to give that a solid four stars. Well, the service was awesome as well. I felt at home, so I would have to give that. Four stars as well. So based on all of these, I would have to give a total rating of 4.5 stars. Well, folks, I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Food Swings on Super Hits 93.5 Red FM. It's rocking.